Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Susu Dal here and today I'll be talking all about skincare. What I use in my skincare routine and basically the kind of product um, that I use. So today I had to bring out everything I use in my skincare routine from um, the beginning to the end. And just before I go on, I would want to say two things. First off, my skin isn't perfect. I'm not wearing any makeup. I just have um, sunscreen on. And as you can see, I have um, some pimples and some blemishes on my skin. And two, I am sitting just in front of my window with natural lighting only. So um, with skincare, the way I think about skincare is similar to what I think about um, hair care. So for my skin, I try to use um, things that will nourish my skin and look for active ingredients that will um, take care of any um, problems or any problematic areas that I have on my skin. I tend to think about it like using skin active. So for me, um, it's not really about the brand name, but it's about if it works for me and if it's safe enough for me to use so without saying much i'll just go right into my skincare and what i use so basically um i'll be talking about what i use for my face and then i'll be talking about what i use for my um, body so for my face the usually i don't wear a lot of makeup so on a daily basis i will just go on i go outside mostly if i if i need to wear makeup i'll just wear very light powder but on most days i go without any powder no makeup no nothing so the first thing in um, my skincare routine is when i come back i cleanse my skin that's i take off my makeup and for that i use micellar water so if you're somebody who wears a lot of makeup or um you go out and you sweat a lot and you have um you know a lot of products on your face you want to use micellar water first to take um the impurities the dirt and every other thing that could be stuck on your skin out so i use the simple um water boost micellar cleansing water there are two variants to simple micellar water there's one with the green cover and then one with the blue cover for me it doesn't really make much of a difference but it's gentle on my skin and it does a pretty good job of taking off um, makeup and dirt so the first thing i do when i get back is i use micellar water i just soak um two cotton swabs um with it and then i just gently use it to um, cleanse my face and it does a pretty good job without irritating my skin so after that the next thing is washing my skin or washing the skin on my face so for that i use the simple moisturizing face wash it says here that it's 100 percent soap free and it doesn't contain um artificial perfume or color no harsh chemicals no alcohol mineral oils and all that although one of the ingredients here i it's 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 a bit you know it has sls sodium lauryl sulfate but then it works really well for my skin i use this um in the evenings when i get back from work and i use i use it while i'm in the bathroom so i use this now for my facial skin sometimes i will also use um black soup african black soup but most of the time i use this because it's for sensitive skin and the skin on my face is a bit sensitive so i try as much as possible not to use things that will irritate it so i use this to wash my face um then after that okay the next step i do is when i clean my face i will use a toner now toners are something that are things that i don't necessarily use all the time i may use toners maybe like twice or three times a week i don't really care much for toners but um for people who use toners a lot this is the toners the toner that i use is from medans botanics and it's the vivid glow um line it has rose water and malic acid now i love 
Medas Botanics. It's a Nigerian um, skincare line, and <laughs> well, I'll just I'll just say this: this is one skincare company that I I am like I'm going to be with them for a very long time because they have really good products, and their products nourish the skin. It just gives me an overall like glow. It just gives me a very nice you know complexion so i will use the resurfacing toner other toners that i've used i've used the neutrogena um toner the one with zero percent alcohol and um i think i've used one other toner but i can't remember the name right now i use neutrogena for you know quite some time but this has um rose water aloe vera leaf juice glycerin malic acid glycolic acid licorice extract citric acid giga white rose oil willow bark extracts and all that so it has a lot of active ingredients in it so i don't use it all the time i use it basically if i feel that my face is getting too rough and i cannot do an exfoliating scrub so i just use this then after that the next thing i like to talk about is serums so serums are something they are active um ingredients or their active um, components in skincare that have just been you know isolated and you know they are they are pretty concentrated and they are used to you know target certain skin problems or just generally tackle certain skin um, issues so serums are something that i feel everybody should have in their skincare routine if you had a choice to buy makeup or you had a choice to buy serum I'd say go for serum because with with serums your skin on the skin of your face will look so good so there are two um active ingredients i look for when i'm looking for serums the two serums i've been using for a while now are niacinamide and vitamin c now there's something that happens um with niacinamide and vitamin c majority of persons will say don't uh, mix it because it can reduce the if you mix use them together it can reduce the potency of either of them so what i do is i use the vitamin c toner um serum during the day and then i use my niacinamide toner at um serum why do i keep saying toner i use my niacinamide serum at night so for vitamin c uh, my sister has been talking about using vitamin C or introducing vitamin C into my skincare regime for a long while and you know I kept on saying ah, okay I'm going to use it and then I introduced vitamin C serum into my skincare routine and I just I almost kicked myself for delaying so long so the vitamin C serum I have here is from Princess Naturals and I just want to show you how well her vitamin c serum has performed for my skin now a lot of people have different brands that they prefer to use or different products that they prefer to use but for me i tried two products i tried one from princess naturals and i tried the second from so yeah i forgot to bring the serum i had been using the vitamin c serum i tried first so i tried timeless vitamin c serum i know you guys must have been hearing a lot about this brand and um i just want to say that i was a little bit disappointed with this particular brand of vitamin c serum because there was so much hype about it you know and it, it has 20 percent vitamin c and ferulic acid and vitamin e and i felt you know this was like the gold standard when it came to vitamin c i saw so many reviews on about it you know so many things and then there was something there was, there was something i read about it that um you need to use it within i think about three months or so of purchasing it so i don't know if i did anything wrong because when i purchased it i put it inside my um where i keep my um skincare and it's like a cupboard and everything it's not exposed to lights it's very cool and all but when i used it when i pumped it out to use it it was you know this yellow color and then i read about it and it was like saying it had been oxidized so maybe i didn't get to use it when you know it was in its most potent um form 
so i was a bit disappointed with this um i feel if it works for you well fine and good but for the hype around it it was difficult for me to get it it was so expensive it cost me about i think ten ten thousand naira for just this bottle and i don't know i was just disappointed and it's a 30 ml bottle so it's good i i think it's good maybe it came to me late because of you know transportation and then heat and all that during um transport but then i used princess naturals and i just want to show you guys some of the bottles that i've used for her vitamin c when i when i like a product you will know because i'll have so many empty bottles of it so i've used this one still has a little inside but i had already started using another one so this is what i've used in over like maybe since december or so last year so it's like uh five months or thereabouts i think yeah just about five months so i've used like four bottles of vitamin c serum and this thing works it works like it just i don't know how to explain it it just gives your skin it prevents um free radical damage or oxidative stress to your skin during the day so most of the time i just use this and i just go in with my sunscreen and that's it for my face for the day so you guys should try it out you can try another brand it doesn't necessarily have to be this one this is simply what i use right now and it's working for me so princess naturals vitamin c serum i'll try other brands you know i'll just try other brands but i know this is something that works so after that um i used to use a moisturizer on my face um but recently i stopped since i ran out of moisturizer so for you guys that may be asking i use the simple uh the sun is messing with my video okay so i use simple hydrating light moisturizer and this is really good in the sense that it doesn't it's very it's for sensitive skin and it's very soothing to the skin it has um niacinamide yes it has niacinamide and um it doesn't have any um, um perfume no color no it has vitamin b glycerin <clears throat> borage seed oil and it says it's suitable for vegans so this is you know the moisturizer i used to use i used to use this and then i go in with my um sunscreen but since this um finished i stopped using this and i just use my sunscreen and my skin has been okay so for sunscreen i use neutrogena hydro boost water water gel lotion spf 50 and i love this um sunscreen because it acts like a moisturizer but it's a sunscreen so you can actually just use it on its own so i use it um on my face only and then once in a while i put it on my hand if i know i'm going to be out in the sun for a while face and mostly neck so this is like one empty um tube of it and like i said when i like a product you see me having so many empty you know containers of it so i love this i will keep on using it it's a good um sunscreen it doesn't pr bring up that white um, finish that most sunscreens usually give to you and it absorbs very well into the skin it may be a little bit oily for some people but for me it performs just fine and you can wear it comfortably before you put on um, makeup so that's the only thing i have on my skin i have just my vitamin c serum and um this sunscreen so that those are just the two things i have on my skin today so this is really good if you're looking for a sunscreen and you don't know where to start from maybe you could just try this it has a smell it's scented so for people who do not like perfumes in their products it may not be the best pick for you but this works really well for me so neutrogena hydro boost water gel lotion sunscreen so that's for my face now i'll just talk about body now for body i don't do too much for my skin um there are a few times when i will lighten up certain areas of my skin because of maybe exposure to sun or 
maybe i just feel like um there are areas of my skin that are dark that i just want to lighten up a bit okay so i had to readjust my camera because of the light the sun was coming in too much through the window so i had to move back a little so um now I'm talking about body care so for me i there, there's something i think about body care now for me i don't do too much for my uh, the skin on my body i try as much as possible to just nourish it and then to protect it but once in a while i get you know some areas of my skin that are uneven for example i i, I don't know if you guys can see this but you can see that there's this two-toned difference this part of my skin is lighter it's it, it's like a tan you know a tan line so this part of my skin is darker and you know the other side is lighter so i got a tan a, um, a few months back when i wore a particular dress and i stayed out in the sun for a little too long so i've been trying as much as possible to get rid um of this tan and it's going away gradually so um for some areas of my body i use products that are safe to lighten that area so one of the products that i use for that i'll come to that but let me talk about cleansing the skin on my body so for cleansing the skin on my body i do i use i i do um body scrubs once a week once or twice a week and then the scrub i use on my face is the same one i use on my body but i do just once a week for my face and then for my body i do it could be two two times a week or three times a week it just dis depends on how my skin feels so for cleansing i'll still talk about meda's botanics so this is her vivid glow line and her vivid glow line has lightning it has a lightning agent licorice extract and camwood so this is the um this is the scrub I use it once a week it's a sugar scrub and it smells it smells really good and it's really really like super good at um cleansing exfoliating my skin so this the key to getting your skin to have that overall glowy you know look and all that is exfoliation both for your face and for your um um skin so i use i cleanse with this is a new container i'm opening this is her sheer soap vivid glow enhancing sheer soap deluxe with rose water and licorice extract so i have just finished a tub there's a black soap variant of this but this is gentler on the skin than black soap so i have more of this when i order next time i'm going to be ordering the black soap i'll be ordering the wash form of this so i cleanse with this and it's very gentle on the skin it does a good job of cleansing the skin without stripping the skin it has oils shea butter palm kernel rose water licorice extract goat's milk kojic diet palmitate and then fragrance so this is what i use majorly for cleansing my skin once in a week like i said i'll use the scrub usually on sundays when i'm doing my spa routine i'll use the scrub both for my face and then for my body so it's just a sh simple sugar scrub it has rose oil raw cane sugar rose water calm wood licorice extract malic acid beetroot emulsifying wax steric acid and sodium benzoate so i'll always tell people whenever you buy handmade skincare always look at the product listing that you have once you see a product a company that doesn't have their products listed on the back they don't have you know their products listed out it's already a red flag to tell you that there may be something in their product that they are trying to hide so for my handmade skincare i love medans botanic so you guys should check her out try her out she's such a nice person and you know i've been with them i've been with medans botanic since 2017 i think i think yeah i think 2017 so it's been almost four years three years plus so um when it comes to cleansing my skin i also need to let you guys know i have a lot of soaps <laughs> i love the smell of soaps i love soaps especially liquid soap so i have a quite a few 
soaps that i use depending on my mood how i feel you know sometimes i just want just a light shower and sometimes i just want to have that smell on my skin i don't know if you guys understand what i'm trying to say sometimes i just want something with fragrance like i just want to smell nice so i have um dove <clears throat> i have dove pear scented pear and aloe vera scented body wash and it says here that it has one quarter moisturizing cream and i love this wash because sometimes i just use it and i don't use any lotion after and we just use a little lotion on maybe on my feet and then my hands so i love this i love the way it smells it smells really good really gentle really soothing so that's one of the washes i have for my body another one i have so i discovered this one recently it's palm olive gourmet chocolate passion body wash so this thing smells literally like chocolate <laughs> if you want to smell like chocolate i'd say use this i don't use it too often because i feel like you may have a lot of fragrance and all that but once in a while i will use this when i won't smell like chocolate so this is it um then i also have okay i think i threw that pack okay one is here i have also the medas botanics black soap deluxe now this is a soap bar don't mind the way the container looks it's in the bathroom so it looks so this is the black soap bar this doesn't have anything lightning in it it's just you know to cleanse you can use it on your face also it's gentle for face and it has palm kernel oil shea butter potash honey calm wood msm lavender and essential oil so basically just a simple cleansing lotion, cleansing soap so i've used quite a few of meda's botanic soaps as well i use her tomatoes and good meal soap and i think her carrot oil soup or something like that but i have a lot of soaps just just take it that way it's 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 my thing soap is my thing so that's re cleansing my body so after cleansing my body i don't towel dry like completely i just allow my body to have like a few drops of you know moisture or water on it and then it's time to um, put on my lotion so during the day i like to put on a very simple lotion that is not heavy and something that will just you know it will be fast for me when i'm trying to get to work so one thing that i used or i have used is medics 5.5 vitamin c and turmeric lotion during the day now i love this lotion so 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 much i don't know why i haven't restocked i actually love this lotion it smells good it has a very nice consistency it's light and it absorbs completely into your skin it's very good in in the sense that it just gives your skin this very light this good moisturizing um feel you know very soft very moisturizing light enough to put on during the day and you know it doesn't make you sweat and all that so it also has very reasonably good you know um products water acetyl alcohol glycerin it has silicone dimeticone but then i'm not totally against it and then it has a lot of other extracts ginseng um apple and so many other ones so if you're looking for a nice vitamin c lotion to use on your body i'd say go for this so this is the medics 5.5 vitamin c and turmeric firming and brightening cream so i used it it didn't lighten my skin it just gave me an overall nice soft skin so this is medics 5.5 um for evenings I usually use this Vivid Glow, Vivid Glow Enhancing Body Milk with Licorice Root Extract from Medas Botanics as well. This is for evening use and this is an unopened bottle. So let me show you a bottle that I've opened. So it's a body milk, so it's very light. Ah, I put too much on my hand. It has this nice soft pink color. It smells a little bit like bubble gum. It has a very, it's lightly scented. So it absorbs you know moderately well into the skin i feel like it has a little sunscreen in it but i don't really mind so it absorbs well into the skin and then it just makes your feel your skin feel 
very nice now this lotion will lighten a little bit you know so i use it i use i'm using it to target this you know area of my skin that has the um tan from when i stayed under the sun for too long so basically that's what i use in the evenings well before i started using it i was using the medics 5.5 retinol and ferulic acid anti-sagging treatment i know people will say anti-sagging treatment why do you need it i'm using it because of the retinol not necessarily because you do i need an anti-sagging treatment but then it just this is amazing it's an amazing lotion trust me this uh, lotion it just there's something about the absorbent nature of medics 5.5 lotions they absorb really well and really fast into your skin i don't know how they formulated it it's really good it absorbs really well and it still makes your fin your skin feel moisturized like you don't feel you don't feel like oh the lotion is gone you touch your skin and you're like wow it's still soft and moisturized and all that so their their formulations are really good and i'm going to restock this again this is really good this and the vitamin c i'm going to restock the two they're really good although it's a little bit on the expensive side i got this one for i can't remember how much but it's not that cheap so maybe because of the exchange rates in nigeria naira but it's like a really good lotion it does not lighten skin for people that want to know it this too will not lighten your skin at all but it just it doesn't lighten but it just gives you a nice fresh look the key for me is healthy looking skin not to look white <laughs> so um after i use lotions i usually go in with oils and once again we're back to meda's botanics i use her sheer glow illuminating body oil with orange and vitamin c this this oil is really 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 so good for me it's like i don't even know how to explain it you guys will just have to try it for yourself so it, it's it's light considering the fact that it's an oil and it just you know just slides onto your skin really well and i just used a little of it on my stretch marks i use it yes i have stretch marks i use it on my stretch marks i use it on my hands i use it on my feet just to lock in that extra moisture um I think we're getting to the end so i will just show you my homemade shea butter mix now a lot of people have given shea butter a bad rap for skin but i still love it so once in a while especially during the drier months i will just use raw shea butter on my body just i have here i have shea butter mango butter it's a butter mix shea butter mango butter i think i have a little cocoa butter here i have um olive oil i have almond oil and i have um i think i put one more oil in this so it's just it's just shea butter and i will use this once in a while when i need you know that extra dose of emollient so i'll use shea butter on my skin is super super good for stretch marks i have stretch marks that itch a bit <laughs> if you have stretch marks that itch you know what i'm talking about so this is really good for them so i'll use my share but and i use it for my hair as well so i use it for my skin and i use it for my hair so share butter is still a staple for me and then i use it a lot on my hands because i tend to wash my hand a lot especially when i'm in the hospital i will wash my hands like almost after every patient that i see so i i like to use shea butter to re add some you know moisture back into my hands so i think we're almost done um the last thing i'll talk about is um face masks so i have a few face masks here the first one i'll talk about is i got this as a gift from medas botanics now she didn't pay me to do this this particular video i'm just doing it because i feel like this company needs a lot of they don't need it i mean they have loyal customers like me so i she literally doesn't need it her products speak for her so i use the metal medas botanics vivid glow hydrating face mask face mask with pink clay rose and hibiscus extracts so this is really good and for 
times where i tend to have pimples if you look at my face uh, i have some i have a pimple here i have one here i don't pick up my pimples because they leave a scar i have one here one here and one here totally hubuna and the fact that i'm under stress this period plus i haven't been drinking as much water as i should so i will use this once in a while when i'm doing my hair masks with clay my clay wash i will use bentonite um bentonite clay i just mix it with water and then maybe rose i mix it with rose water and glycerin and a few other things to use on my hair and then i'll use the rest as a face mask on my face once a week and yeah i have this um charcoal anti-acne mask from princess naturals she gave me this as a gift and i really loved it i don't know why i haven't you know said anything about it for a while now i've used it like it's empty so it was it was it, it was really good for me it felt very moisturizing afterward so i would recommend this for people with dry skin if you want to do a face mask and you don't want your skin to feel dry afterwards i totally recommend this this was really good for me and like i said when i like a product you see a lot of empties of it so i think that's that for me and my skincare that's basically what i use for my skincare it's been a very long video um i don't know how i'm going to edit it to like maybe 10 minutes because i feel like i've talked a lot so for me i look at my skin actives i try to nourish and protect my skin for protecting my skin i like to use ingredients that will fight against oxidative stress like vitamin c and then for nourishing my skin i like to use things like that will ha add added moisture to my skin or prevent moisture from leaving my skin you know things that will make my skin look plump niacinamide hyaluronic acid rose water glycerin things like that so that's basically what i use for my skin so for everybody that's been asking this is my skincare routine and if you if you've used any of the products please just let me know you know in the comment section if you like my videos like it subscribe to my channel you can tap the notification button so that you know when next i put out a new video so thank you so much for watching this has been the longest video ever that i've had to film and see you next time bye